Hi, I'm Flo Brooks. This is my exhibition Harmony Crumb at Spike Island in Bristol. This exhibition explores trans and gender non-conforming histories. I wanted to think about particular historical figures who have a personal significance to me. People like uh, Joan of Arc, the physician Michael Dillon, who is also known as Lobsang Shivaka, and Charles Hamilton, who worked as a quack in Somerset in the 18th century. In the show, there are seven acrylic paintings, which are appliqued onto found fabric. And there are six floor-based assemblages, which are comprised of lino flooring cutouts, um, with an assortment of handmade objects. Each painting begins with a small fragment um, that might be a newspaper clipping, an autobiographical description, um, or something I've taken away from a visit to one of the places that these individuals lived and worked. In one of the paintings, which is called Still Pass We, I've depicted uh, Michael Dillon, who's also known as Lobsang Shivaka, riding his motorbike uh, down a country lane with birds flying out of the hedgerows. Whilst making this painting, I was reading uh, Dillon Shivaka's autobiography, um, and I was particularly struck by this passage in which he describes buying his first motorbike. The way I interpreted it, it's about this desire to kind of escape the confines of your own body, your own circumstances. Um, it's also about, I think, masculinity and uh, individualism and having agency. And there was something in this description that just really chimed for me, this simultaneous feeling of um, stuckness um, and the kind of desperate desire to get out of yourself. In another work, which is called The Dream, I was thinking about this uh, person called Pejon, who was known as Pejon later in their life, who was a Belgian faith healer and stigmatic. Within the painting, I've described a sort of Pejon figure lying in bed, cradled um, by Joan of Arc. In his early life, he apparently was um, ran away to the circus and was a lion tamer. There's a lion in the painting, which is called Brutus, who um, Pejon was um, said to have slept with at night. This commission was a really exciting opportunity for me to work with some new materials and uh, explore new processes that I haven't had the time or means to do so before. Um, I wanted to incorporate textiles into the paintings and I was really interested in the possibility of including um, these assemblages. Uh, often I make things in the studio whilst I'm working through paintings but I don't show them. It was also a, a chance for me to think about uh, a different way of installing the work. I really like the idea of hanging the paintings uh, from the ceiling, that people could move around them. And I made a cardboard shoe for each of the people I wanted to think about. And it's a way of connecting to a, a narrative or an idea or a subjectivity. So there's something about the singular shoe which was just made sense that there would just be one. Um, and that it's a form of trying to connect to um, 
another person in quite a sort of absurd way. Um, I know I, I will never know what the life of many of these people were like, and that's not really what I'm, uh, what I'm setting out to do, but it's about using these small clues, these materials and fragments to try and imagine and speculate and um, just spend time thinking about these people.